Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Erin Spain and today I'm going to be sharing a tutorial for this easy DIY bench. I teamed up with Arrow Fastener for this project over on my blog, so I will link to that written tutorial for you in the description box below, as well as sources for all of the things that I used for this project. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell, and as always, please stick around to the end of the video if you want to see some embarrassing outtakes. Alright, let's get started. The first thing I needed to do was cut my wood for the seat of the bench. So I had some 3 quarter inch plywood in my scrap wood stash, which I used for this project. I used my handheld circular saw to cut it down to 12 inches wide by 4 feet long. Yes, please clamp your wood down when you cut. Don't come at me, I know I didn't, but I definitely went really slow and kept my eye on the blade the whole time. Next I sanded everything smooth with my random orbit sander. For the seat, I used 2 inch thick high density cushion craft foam, which I got off Amazon. I will link to that for you. This is just going to be the cushion that goes underneath the faux leather. I did not use batting just to save money, but you could definitely use that over the foam. I did not, I had just moved into this house, you guys. I did not have the right equipment, so I used a combination of a box cutter and regular scissors to cut this. A bread knife would have worked perfectly, but I didn't have one on hand, so that's what I would recommend to cut it. So I just cut it to the same size as my plywood seat, and then after that we will move on to the faux leather. I ordered one yard of faux leather from Amazon, and last time I checked they were out of stock, so as soon as it's back in stock I will link to it below for you. For this project, I used my Aero T50 ACN electric stapler and nailer along with 3 8 inch staples. I ended up going with those instead of the half inch you see here. I started by stapling each end and then I went around and did the sides, cutting away the excess in each corner and pulling it really tight as I went along. One yard of faux leather was actually the perfect amount for this project. I only had to cut a little bit away as I was stapling the sides. Since the leather is quite a bit thicker than regular fabric, I did have to be careful and make sure that I was cutting away the right amount in each corner just to prevent it from looking too bunchy. Now the thing that made this project so quick and easy was I ordered prefabricated legs for this. I ordered them from Amazon, I will link to them below. I just ordered some mid-century style legs and this just made it such a quick and easy sort of semi-homemade DIY project. Of course you can make your own legs if you choose or you can add any style you want. I also ordered some angled brackets to attach the legs to the seat and I placed them about an inch and a half in from each edge. Then I just marked the holes and pre-drilled and then attach them with the screws that they came with. I did cut away a little bit more of the leather just to make room for the brackets. These legs are so easy to attach, so after I attached the brackets, I was able just to screw the legs on, and that's it. And there you have an easy DIY bench that I was able to build in under an hour. This bench is now at the foot of my bed in my bedroom that I just recently made over, so if you missed that video, I'll link to that for you as well. And now for the outtakes. I am going to be sharing, uh, fuck, fuck. zip it! Well, I'm Erin Spain, and today I'm gonna to be sharing a tutorial for this DIY, no. <laughs> Literally only need five minutes. Can you just zip it? Guys, shut up! <laughs> Frickin' 
freaking gnats. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Recording with three boys in this house is a trip. Like they are literally louder when I record than they ever are when I am not recording. It's a phenomenon. Oh God. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me online at erinspain.com and on social media at Erin Spain blog. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos. Thanks.